Here we go, part two of the revolution of healing. Dr. Sandra Rose Michael explaining how she created this device that is helping the body to heal itself. Strands or aspects of your DNA? Yes. And if you... And here's so a commercial. Now for the magic frequency. And we start with 100. If, you, if I put it to a black background, it looks precisely, specifically, like out of the Genome Project. Mm. Even though I developed this interface with the DNA way before I ever saw any of those screens from the Genome Project. Very interesting. What kinds of things have you seen done with this technology healing-wise? Oh, gosh. We're very blessed. We've literally seen anything and everything heal. Um, the body wants to heal. Um, you know, we've had people literally sent for hospice. I think I, I think I showed you a picture of, uh, of the general. Did I show you that? I don't think so. Maybe we can maybe show that. Um, oh yes, with the burns. Yes, the third degree burns over his whole body. Three strokes. Seventy seven years old. He was <sighs> sent to hospice by the VA. And I said, just get him here. Get him to me. He, was, he had total paralysis, both sides, no bladder control, no bowel control. Oh, my gosh. And I thought he was dead. I mean, he looked dead. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they brought him in. I carried him in. They brought him for four hours a day. And I showed you the picture after 10 days where he's standing. And it looked much better. <laughs> yeah. And brought him back to life. And he was able to fulfill and go back and, and complete and accomplish some of the things that he really wanted to accomplish before. I, and that, that was 77. I think he passed when he was 82. Aww. But amazing, amazing man, amazing story. And uh, you know, I told you some of that. And, and just uh, fascinating stuff. And uh, another example of stroke, for example, Dr. Dream, Mark Peebler, he put out he had a double stroke. He was, I, I sent him a message, just get here, get to an EE system ASAP after a double stroke. Well, he got here. So he ended scary. up coming here yeah. uh, about three weeks after his stroke. It took about 45 minutes for him to come in that door and make it to the system. He could not, and this was with the walker and two people helping him. He could not stand at all without falling down. Jesus. After two hours, though, he walked unassisted. Come on now. <laughs> From over 100 feet. Crazy. Unassisted both ways without touching anything intentionally. And he's wow. doing fantastic. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, so we've seen just crazy miracles. And we love miracles. But it's just... You know, the power that made the body heals the body, really. And this is like, how do you plug the body back into that cosmic light socket? Mm -hmm. Universal, unlimited power on. And that's your light force energy. Mm -hmm. I know you can go on with stories endlessly of oh. the, the things that you've seen, even from the conversations that you and I have had off camera. But I want to ask you a difficult question that I'm sure a lot of people are asking. If this works the way that we're saying that it works, and it creates the miracles that we're seeing in many people all around the world, how hasn't it been destroyed? <sighs> Coincidentally. <laughs> yeah, I'm very highly protected. <laughs> but there have been many, many attempts on my life. I mean, let's wow. be real. Uh, but I'm also very highly protected because of the high level of beings that have our technology. Um, Can you, know, you speak and more about that? Special forces, for example, <laughs> but you know, admirals and generals, and that you know, I mean, so it's been very highly protected mm. in in those ways as well. And also, it was initially, initially I only let it out to private homes. That's why now about ninety percent of the systems are actually in private homes. And actually, one of the initial I systems I went out that went out went out to a student of mine who was studying with me, studying healing. You know, I'm recognized as a kahuna in Hawaii, and he was studying healing with me, and and it went out to him, and um, 
he introduced himself at our at our first uh, training in Hawaii that I did with him as a <laughs> as a Wall Street tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> but he was part of the Rothschild family. <laughs> so he actually, one of the first systems went to him. Surprise! So what, what you're saying is there are elites in the world that are using this technology. Yes. And, you know, they want to heal from all their own abuse and trauma and, as, as well. Uh, the first full system was, was finally installed in Golden, Colorado in uh, 1996. And so there's a history from there of, you know, that we can talk about <laughs> as far as who showed up when the, because it creates, uh, we're colliding photons like Cerner Fermi Labs, creating photonic fusion. So it's a cold fusion type event. Okay. I know you had an experience, something having to do with NASA, DEF COM. Can you, can you <laughs> share that? Uh, yeah, I guess we can. <laughs> Whatever you're comfortable with. And um, yeah, she very, very interesting a lot for because a genius, right? you know, next thing you know, there, there were there were ships overhead when we when I finally got a full a system set up. And uh, and you know, <laughs> black helicopters because this was near NORAD, um, things like that, and then. Actually, somebody from NASA was sent to find out what we were doing because it showed up like the signature of a nuclear sub on land. Mm. <laughs> so uh, it, it ended up, um, so I was told that, you know, <laughs> well, I was told this fairly recently by the person that sent NASA to us, uh, that there were actually 300 men in hazmat suits that surrounded us. <laughs> I said, I didn't see that many, really. <laughs> I didn't see all those. <laughs> I saw some. <laughs> um, but, um, but anyway, we ended up putting a system uh, down in Houston. Okay. And I would get briefings from NASA as they were studying the effects of the technology. And part of the research that was done was studying the effects on the DNA. And again, I designed this specifically to interface with the DNA. So studying the effects on the DNA was a top geneticist out of Baylor University. And they found that it was repairing all the breaks in the DNA, all the yeah. genetic damage, but all the all the all the DNA, because it's designed specifically to put the DNA back to its original divine matrix. I like to say we have designer genes. And how do you put the DNA back to its original design? So it was designed to intentionally put the DNA back to its original design. They found it was repairing all the damage, all the breaks in the DNA, and lengthening the telomeres. So that's true age reversal. Nobody knew what telomeres were. They, nobody was talking like about that age. back in the late 90s, but uh, that's true age reversal. And, and I understand the longer they are, the longer you live. That's correct. So there's a direct correlation. Lots more research on that. And shortened How do we telomeres test our create telomeres? shortened life. You see shortened telomeres, for example, with cancer. But this is going to try to lengthen the telomeres, which are like the end caps of the DNA, or you know, it's the end caps you know, like a shoestring, or I, I, I talk about, you know, this is a scalar wave here. It's really good for hair, and lengthening it grows super fast. I need that. <laughs> hair grows in thick and fast and, and things like that, but the ends don't split because it's a unified, cohesive, coherent, unified field effect. Mm. But, but also it's because of the collision of the photons uh, creates, you know, a cold, a fusion type event, which creates hydrobifurcation, which is a release of the active oxygen. So you've got like your ultimate oxygen therapy. So you see the cells, the red blood cells, perfectly, totally oxygenated, and which is really important, <laughs> you know, especially in what we've been dealing with lately, how the cells stay totally oxygenated and free-flowing. But, so you got the active oxygen. Now, some of the physicists I've worked with found that's five or six molecules of active oxygen and active hydrogen. I'm now, the active hydrogen, hydrogen that's your pH. Oxygen. It's your hydrogen Machine potential tonight. or the power of hydrogen. 
but it's the act of hydrogen then that can repair the covalent hydrogen bonds in the DNA. You know, you've got, it's putting the DNA back to its original unified. Because what radiation does, now understand, I know radiation literally from the inside out with my mother, right? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I came in extreme radiation poisoning myself. And that's what we're all dealing with now is radiation poisoning. Radiation unzips the DNA, breaks those bonds. Dude, that's EMF waves. And last night I slept with my rifle machine on radiation detox. Okay, when so it comes to radiation, put it back and repair those bonds. What about this? How does this not emit? any negative radiative effects. And it's been tested and tested and tested every which way. And it, and it's that, because that's a great question. Because of the phase conjugation, it creates a zero point technology and it creates a nullification point, of all yeah. detrimental and destructive fields. And that null zone effect where, and um, one of the you know president of the Biophysics Association, but he was a top researcher for the Pentagon was brought to meet me, sent to meet me, and brought a $100,000 oscilloscope. She's a badass. And you can actually watch that video on YouTube. When was this? She's so humble. Oh, gosh, that's a number of years ago. Um, you know, John Oriva. And he brought that hundred very specialized oscilloscope. And But he's explaining what he's seeing and what it means. And it's showing that total nullification of the detrimental field effects. Mm. But also that's a total transmutation of all detrimental and destructive fields into beneficial, you know, beneficial energy. And it's not just a sp this or that frequency. It's, it's spanning a full spectrum because that's how the body works. And, and with, with a predominance in the because yeah, we did a lot of brain research. He was considered the top brain researcher in the world. And then there's a predominance in the ideal optimal brain states, you know, which has to do with the Schumann resonance. There's a predominance in the Schumann resonance and, and the 14. So I wonder if she's going to say the Fibonacci, but I have a Schumann resonance tuning fork. And let me tell you something. That thing is so calming and effective the Schumann resonance is the frequency of the earth and natural frequency and then I have a circuit boot on the bottom of it which explodes it into your body and it feels fantastic and you're so CPS which is your cycles per second you know your um which is the um like the energy found in a virgin rainforest for example, and that kind of thing. And then some of the research we did was very, very interesting because I have more than 30-some years of research in right-left brain synchronization. Hmm. You know, so that's very, very important to healing because as long as there's brain dominance, there's constant imbalance, there's struggle. That's fright, flight, or fight. Mm -hmm. Constant compensation for imbalance. Yeah, it sucks. Right brain dominance or left brain dominance you know, we'd like to clear some of those domination issues and those power struggles on this planet. We just want to be in love, male and female in balance and unified. Unified. It's a good term. <laughs> <laughs> we want to come together, right? And that release of charge is that oneness with that. Remember that other video that I did where they said that People will not be brainwashable if both hemispheres of their brain work equally. <laughs> that organic love of creator and creation coming together within us. So that balance of right and left brain hemispheres creates your ideal um, whole brain thinking, your genius states, but activating, uh, opening up all the neurotransmitters, you know, it's like being on drugs with no drugs because it's oxygenating the brain. It's a natural cool. high. Cool. Yeah, Antidepressant effects, things like that. Because people come out feeling very happy. And that's that was a significant piece in our initial clinicals that I were done in 2001. The, the room hmm. happy. It was uh, Dr. Victor Marcial Vega did the initial clinicals, 132 patient studies. So people can read that on the research page. But in, out of a He's an oncologist, so how many people come out of a cancer clinic feeling happy? That had never happened. 
<laughs> that it creates those ideal optimal brain states. So some of that research was that you could go to a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk mm. in seven minutes. Like not only is she a genius, wow. but she's attractive. Yeah, accelerated evolution. <laughs> you have to teach people how to meditate. So I tell everybody to say all their prayers and focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Visualize. You know, that's visualization, but the power of prayer. Mm -hmm. And thank the body for functioning so perfectly because you're literally breathing light to every cell and every part of yourself. That's unbelievable. Thank every cell. And then we remember the power of the truth, of the love, mm -hmm. of our being here. Mm -hmm. So that's what that, that consciousness is about. So it's very, very interesting. So but he explains it on the scientific side. And then we've worked with so many doctors and scientists. And, and um, like I said, the initial clinicals, 2001. And uh, it goes on from there. It's beautiful. So Imagine having that I understand, in your house and having which is obvious at this, this time, point, the so level jealous. of protection that you have on your life, on everything that you're building, on what you're doing. How do we ensure that this remains protected when you're no longer here? <laughs> well, it can't stop. It's like a snowball. The Great Awakening cannot, will not be stopped. I have been promised that. <laughs> I was wow, also promised look at what a few you things it. coming in, <laughs> and, uh, and and I'm here to teach kind of physical immortality. <laughs> you, you Word. Can call this immortality medicine. Yeah. Infinity. Everybody wants to know how long does a charge last? You know, this is non-linear, non-Hertzian, fifth-dimensional, standing column or waves beyond relative time and space. Mm -hmm. They're trans-dimensional, interdimensional. Yep. Yeah. And it's that zero point energy. But how long does infinity last? It's like an infinitely projected Mobius. That's a way to understand a scalar vortex. Okay. And then we talked about that null zone. It goes out 2.2 miles every direction. This is industrial strength scalar. This goes 2.2 miles out in terms of its effect. That's the measured null zone, yes. So you could pretty much protect an entire neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. So it's about how, how do we create healthy communities? Because we have to come together wow. and create communion. <laughs> you know, but we have to come together and be the greater community. So the benefit for the community is a nullification of the detrimental field effects. Mm -hmm. The hyper-healthy energy, the DNA is biophotonic, so it's in it's the room. The scalar goes so through itchy. the walls, the photons don't. And your photons are your quantums of light. DNA, prime function of DNA and this is Fritz Albert Pop's work, another biophysicist, but prime function of DNA, according to him, is a storage of photons. Yeah. And DNA is biophotonic. Mm -hmm. And so what we're literally doing, the core of the DNA, is the light from the stars. So you see that infinity wave, when it's applied to the body, allows a spiraling into the double helix of the DNA mm -hmm. to kind of wipe all the slates clean with the light and activate the light at the core of the DNA, which is the light from the stars. Wow. We are stardust. You know what this is? This is, this is physical, spiritual Remember that technology. Song? Yes. It bridged the two worlds. Wow. Are That's unbelievable. Yeah. And keeping the love, keeping the light, letting go of everything. Weird. That's that cellular memory erase in a sense. Letting go of anything and everything that no longer serves your greatest life your greatest light, your highest purpose, your highest potential. <laughs> wow. Let's live it. How do you live it? And we need people to stay strong no matter what we're exposed to now. So that's Your highest potential is not to get a body count, is not to be going out and meeting people and trying to get validated and attention-seeking. Okay? You're supposed to become the ultimate person that you're supposed to be. And whoever is vibrating at the same frequency will find you. They'll fucking find you. Stop squandering your energy, freaks.
That's why we also created, can't you make it smaller? Well, we made it smaller. We have our EE medallions, EE bracelets, which helps maintain the integrity of the DNA and the red blood cells, which are that that same. Everybody needs shape, to right? get their parents' well, medallions, the especially if they're elderly. And that, really. Because on one side, which we'll, we'll get into, this is a whole different, I mean, monster that we're tackling over here. And this what is needs the baby. To be yeah, this is the baby, right? So what is the difference in terms of effects? Because the question was, do you have any smaller versions of that? And as a matter of fact, I'm wondering. These are pretty portable. They're very handy. So what would be the difference between the two for those who don't have access to, let's say, a center that has this in their state or country? Yeah. Well, these, you know, I mean, these literally have lots of reported miracles where they put it on somebody in the hospital in a coma and they've watched them come back to life and things like that. Because, again, it reminds the body, you know, of that infinite light, life, source, energy. Um, so, you know, we see miracles with them. The medallions are stronger than the bracelets. Okay. They do like a five-foot cocoon. Dude, this is literally like Star Trek shit. So people sleep with them. They put them wherever they pass them around. Instead of aspirin for pain, they put them wherever there's inflammation for vision improvement, which is one of the things we hear the most is vision improvement. I'll wow. be getting At one. every level. <laughs> you know, because it's decalcifying the pineal gland, etc. Oh, word. The ultimate. Nice you know meditational states mm -hmm. so people see things they hear things they 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 get their their you know the clearer Animals. the questions the clearer the answers absolutely and that, and so i talk about letting yourself know whatever god wants you to know let yourself know whatever there is to know the knowing of which allows all things to be totally clear as issues in your body your life your relationships your family mm -hmm. your community our whole world now so that's part of, you know, that going into that when you know, you know. She's it's going so beyond sweet. belief or theoretical, intellectual. This is about embodiment when you know, you know. And so let yourself know what God wants you to know. Ask and you shall receive. So people use these for meditation. This says the Pfeiffer Cocoon. Um, of course, our Stanford, Harvard biophysicist, Dr. Glenn Ryan, mm -hmm. did lab research with the medallions and found a 28% increase in the electrical conductivity. That's your cell signaling. It's all the coherence. Coherence is very, very, very important principle. Coherence, no impedance. Mm -hmm. Wow. So coherence in the body so that you stay strong no matter what you're exposed to. But it's you 28% increase in the electrical conductivity of, D, of human DNA itself, just from the medallion. The bracelets work a little different because they're at a pulse point and the blood mm -hmm. runs through it. Okay. Tell me more. But you know, we're, what we're dealing with is extreme radiation poisoning mm -hmm. on the planet. I mean, I mean, people could look. I've done talks on that. We've been fuked. Now what? <laughs> From Fukushima. Big time. That was considered, you know, I was working with NASA physicists at the time to bring the solutions of advanced radiation poisoning or advanced radiation remediation. We want to, you know, that's one of my projects is, you know, for the planet, advanced radiation remediation, cleanup of the oceans, of, of Fukushima site itself, the land, etc. And I can say unequivocally, we have everything to heal and fix and cure. Everything. Absolutely. But that was an extinction level event in itself because of the radiation levels. Now we've seen an acceleration of that with the 5G, etc. Mm -hmm. And another celebrity doctor, uh, guru pollution. doctor, did testing with all these different things that's supposed to work against 5G and all these things that are supposed to protect from it. Well, protection from it, radiation, protection from 5G doesn't work. Protection from, as a principle, doesn't work. Because the more you protect from, the more there is to protect from. Whatever you focus on expands, and all that creates is more, more fancy victim, <laughs> because the more there is to protect from. <laughs> it's a very strong statement and a very true statement that you said, and I want to expand on that for a second for everybody that's watching, of what you focus on is what you're making stronger. And, and just restating what you said in a different way, because it's very true. 
if you're protecting from something, in a way you're even resisting that something because you're strengthening it by saying, I have to protect more and more and more from this thing. You're giving it more power. Yes, it has more giving power it power over. 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 Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to, to highlight that because it's... It's really an important principle. And that's why I say focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Yeah. Very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. We have to create what we want, you know, for our life and our world. We have to be the ones we've been waiting for. <laughs> and so this is to help embody those principles so that you stay strong no matter what you're exposed to. Mm -hmm. But he tested all these things that were including Shungite, which is a great stone. But none of the only thing that actually worked on the 5G was this. And you can see this like a satellite receiver for the technology uh, and that kind of thing. But but um, but it's because it creates a transmutation of energy into beneficial, mm -hmm. like electrical precursors for the body, so kind of like that. So it's a transmutational effect, which is very, very different. Let's make it beneficial. Understood. You mentioned that 90% of where this technology is, is in private homes. The key over here is obviously making it as accessible as possible to more people in the public because it's not necessarily affordable for the common man around the world. And we want to figure out a way to make this more accessible. To it people. needs to be everywhere fast. Yes. That's the question is, do you have any direction or solutions, direct solutions of how we can change that? Right? And I've, I'm looking for places in upstate New York to send my parents and there are none they're only in massapequa and smithtown and then i don't see any coming soon in upstate new york i don't want to move back up there i would love to have a center this would be like a rad business but there's already two where i live here within six miles apart and they won't let you open another one naturally there's opportunities across the whole country i'm dying to have one of these centers ratio from being instead of 90 percent of all of this incredible technology that's out there in private homes get it 90 percent accessible to the public how do we do something like and that and there Can are you beautiful guidance? centers all over but there needs to be a lot more for the people because we've got so much to heal at this yeah. point so much to turn around and so much to heal of course i do a lot with the military there are 1100 wellness centers planned for veterans and their families with this technology mm -hmm. wow yeah i do I've done a lot with veterans in the military and you mentioned these centers I know you have centers, not necessarily yours, but certain individuals are purchasing this technology and then using it to heal others on like hourly sessions or sessions for a period of time. My family has done that right. in multiple centers in New York and New Jersey, and we've seen incredible, incredible impacts, beneficial impacts and effects. Is this something that anybody can do? Can anybody go choose to open up a center, get this technology, and start providing it to the world? Yes, it's it's really interesting. Not anybody can. You know, like I said, it's not one on one. It's a couple hundred thousand dollars. A hundred people at once. Sometimes we do that. Uh, it's many people at once. You can't, you know you can't heal the world. You know, time and energy intensive, practitioner dependent, doctor dependent. Uh, this is like how do we just bring healing energy for communities and we don't make any claims we don't we don't or the technology technology itself doesn't heal fix or cure anything the power that made the body heals the body and this is like a wireless human battery charger mm -hmm. raising the cell membrane potential mm -hmm. raising that cellular millivoltage it's quadrupled mitochondrial activity in one hour which explains all the rapid um, all, all the rapid nerve cell regeneration, for example. Quadruple mitochondrial activity, that's your power plants of the cells. 
And that's what's, you know, we documented that when I lectured at the Royal Society of Mas Medicine in London and did a study, pilot study with nine people. Mm. Yeah, and we found that it was also bringing the pH into the proper pH of uh, it, all the organs. There's a lot of research that we've done, but quadruple mitochondrial activity is very highly significant. So it's pretty much bringing everything back into harmony with itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and cancer, for example, we're meant to be functioning at 70 to 90 millivoltage when healthy, right? Okay. And cancer can't exist in the body till it's below 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I can show you some of the acugraph um, research and things that show where it's been brought up to, you know, from 21 to 80 is one of our examples in one hour. Wow. Yeah, the millivoltage of the cells. So it's literally how do you plug the body into the cosmic light socket. And, and this is just healthy energy. That's it. It's just creating a healthy energetic environment that supports the body and consciousness in healing, which means wholeness. And wholeness is also about remembering the holiness, the sacredness. And so letting go of the desecration that we've all been through, the total desecration and violation from every direction mm -hmm. of the sacredness of our bodies and who we are, all that we are, and all that we're here for. For those individuals around the world who would like to step up, in, in that invitation. I that want to step up. Both men and women. I'm going to have to raise money. And be a part of creating that change with at least helping bring this out there. How can they go about, for those who choose to create these centers? And by the way, what I love about that action that can be taken is it's twofold. It's giving somebody the ability to give back while also creating a business. Mm -hmm. A business that gives back to people simultaneously and that's, that's how I see the toroidal field. Uh -huh. It's not you have to lose so I can gain. Right. It's we can all work together to gain together in harmony with one another, mm -hmm. where what you call the masculine, the feminine become in love once again mm -hmm. and create that oneness and that unified field. So for those individuals who want to step up and take action to say, I want to bring this out there. I want to learn more about this. I want to open up a center in my town or village or city or state or whatever it is. How can that individual go about doing something like that? Yeah, and it's pretty easy as far as you know, the, the technology. You know, there's many ways to install. I mean, we have centers that just have cubes. But that's, you know, ideally like your father and, and your aunt, uh, they went to a 24-unit system. That's, that's another whole world because the 24 is more the geometry of the DNA. Mm -hmm. And then there's just recliners and things. And so it runs 24-7 because it's the energy going through the planet like Tesla's work, right? <laughs> it's like Tesla's. And it's each system that goes in expands the fields exponentially so that all supports. So you never turn them <laughs> off. It's a really unique so it runs 24-7, and all you have to do is put people in or let people in come house. in and take a power nap. Because how it really works to recharge, it's kind of like when you're recharging your cell phone. As long as the eyes are open, 80% of the body's energy is being externalized to deal with the, you know, environment. You know, when you close your eyes and go to all healing is in delta and theta brain states. That's where the repair, rejuvenation, regeneration is. Literally, regeneration. You want to close the eyes, go to those deep states, that do your meditation, <laughs> focus on what you want, and go to the deep states where the body can internalize all that energy and use it to literally regenerate, regenerate from inside out. So it's a power nap. Literally. Yeah, just like your cell phone, if you're still talking on it, it does. It might keep it from dying. I mean, it's not like it's not working. We have miracles with their eyes open too, every day. But, you know, your cell phone doesn't recharge as efficiently if you're still talking on it. Correct. Yeah. If you, you know, or it's like rebooting a computer, defrag. Coherence, creating coherence through the through the systems of the body. So, would you say that a twenty four unit system, when it comes to a center, is probably the best? That's one the that best. You can get? 
although our clinicals have been with fours and eights, eights primarily, because eight, eight units is 10 times better than a four. <laughs> and it's always even numbers. Yeah, because it's phase conjugation. Um, they're precisely aligned uh, with lasers. You were asking about, about this before, how they're aligned, because the alignment, the precision of the alignment, we're trying to get that to within a hundredth of an inch tolerance. Wow. Yeah. And that's because if, and think about it, if one's out, it creates a, a wobble mm. in the, you know, a distortion or a wobble in the field. And if it's out too much, it's like a tilt whirl <laughs> That's what, what's unique about these is four units internally that are precisely aligned. And then this creates like a photon fountain going out. You know, so It's interesting because as I look at you, I see there's like a, I see in, in my peripheral vision where what I see right now on the side is not what I see when I look straight at it. I see different lights on the screen when I look at you in my peripheral than I do when I look this way. I actually see patterns on the screen right now as I'm looking at you in my peripheral. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's like what's embedded within that you can't necessarily see right off the bat, but it's, mm -hmm. it's coming at you through that form of light. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like a photon fountain. The downside of these, I and mean, we created these, and they've been, they don't have to be installed. That's the upside. They don't have to be installed. We ship them all over the world, especially during the last couple of years with dealing with all the issues that people are dealing with. They've been shipping all over the world. It's the, you know, the mini version. It took a lot of dealing with the prototype. To I wonder create, how much the mini know, version is. So this could go out. But you can't get your body in the middle of it so easily <laughs> yeah. it works but it's kind of the slow boat and we have miracles with it you want a couple of those please yeah i mean so one of the prototypes that went out and one of the initial ones where you know um it has some commercial applications and this actually went out to commercial application for the 28 percent reduction in surface tension of water that's some of the research. So reduction of surface tension mm -hmm. has some commercial applications. <laughs> Another topic, but but that's also a lot of how it works in the body. If uh, the water, you you know, water is twenty eight percent increase decrease in the surface tension makes the water more hydrating. The body is mostly water, mm -hmm. so that creates all the fluidity. But also a lot of aging is simply dehydration acute chronic dehydration so okay so in this commercial application with a cube in the back of a shop you know the the bottles of water are all bubbled up you know the five gallon bottles and because it's really releasing the active oxygen and hydrogen and you know it's having those effects on the water um but okay so it's in the back of the shop the guy two doors down has is a veteran you know, like I said, we've done a lot with veterans, and he needed bilateral knee replacements. You know, bone on bone, the cartilage was gone, and was in excruciating pain, and he had a gym two doors down from the cube. Well, he'd come visit and what have you, but he realized all the pain in his knees were gone, mm -hmm. so he canceled his surgery. Now, he now squats 475 pounds on those bad knees, right? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> no, no bad knees well, anymore. About regeneration. We've seen anything and everything. Body wants to heal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's one example. A woman across the way with the Chinese restaurant, 83 years old, who had uh, macular, macular degeneration and cataracts, inoperable cataracts. So she was blind, so she was selling her restaurant. But she started coming in. And she goes, I can see what's going on. I can see. <laughs> so she went back to her ophthalmologist and found that the cataracts were completely gone. Come on. And 83 years old. So I guess, and then that encouraged us to try to make sure that we develop the prototype further. <laughs> but that's the kind of miracles that it, but it was slower, you know, uh, you know, as far as in the time that it took. Than, than in the bigger system. I want to see this in as many places as possible. It's pretty, right? I mean, it's very pretty. It's nice. It looks cool. You know, it, it even looks good. It's not like it's this, you know, it's this like thing in the room that you don't want there. It's 
it's a piece in and of itself. It's, it's of kind art. of like a structural form of art. Yeah. <laughs> it's the way we kind of, we didn't even really develop this. My, my son, who you met, worked on this and worked on this. We had done a number of things similar, testing things. And he worked on this uh, to get it to get it ready to go, you know. You know, what I found, originally he developed it as an art piece. <laughs> I mean, that's Jason exactly what it is. What I find amazing is when it comes to the centers, for example, again, I know these, I mean, the cube is cheaper than a 24-unit system, granted, but when you open up a center like the ones they have in New York or New Jersey, let's say, oh, man. you're spending like $50 an hour for something that... I don't know how to get Jason It, it would be not only an extraordinary amount of money through surgeries and everything Look, that somebody would go through, but it doesn't do Sorry. what it should do because of the, the, the conventional way of going through medical procedures. It no longer does anything because it's just physical. So when I see something like this, it's accessible. It does the job there for me. It bridges the physical world and the spirit world. And it brings all that together in that, what you call the unified field. It's it's a win-win-win for everybody. It's an energy equation. spa it, where you can regenerate. Regenerate. Man, I had him cut out the whole time. You, I want to ask you a question oh, okay. when it comes to something we said in the beginning of this interview, which really piqued my interest when it comes to this technology, healing modality, you as an individual, your history, your work, you mentioned to me when we first started talking, and I didn't know about this before, that TLS approached you sometime around 2011. Right. Can you share a little bit more about that? I know that there's a connection between this, you, and the organization. I want to understand from your perspective, from your experience with whatever you're comfortable with sharing, what was your experience with that encounter? How long did it last? What was your reaction, response? Give us a story here. Well, it was interesting conversations initially. And and basically it was about I was doing all the work. Um, and I said, but I couldn't possibly do any more work than what I'm doing already. And they said, don't worry about it. Just know that you're part of. And, and when it's time, you'll know more and it'll be brought forward more um but that, that initial contact was uh, july 11th which is interesting of of 2011 so when I, when I, years ago when i go back to looking at the initial uh, invitation and and, and um, being brought into that as a, and talking about transduction and tra being recognized as a transducer in that system which is interesting because I don't know if there's a connection between that and this, but for example, in the most recent disclosure interview, Disclosure 3, there was a method that Ray actually shared called transducing. It's spelled differently. Um, it's done for certain purposes of being able to, for positive purposes, manipulate certain situations in order for them to get through certain things. Usually on the on the dark side of the equation with the dark people that they have to neutralize in certain situations. But even when I brought that up to you and you heard that, you felt a connection between what you were called and that. And again, I don't know how all of this connects, yeah, but I, and I'm the, sure. And the work we've been doing all this time. Yeah. We've, you know, waiting for this time, you know. So were you ever asked to be initiated into the organization? And I don't remember if I was specifically asked to be initiated. That I don't remember. I understand that somebody by the name of uh, Humphrey Angels brought TLS to your attention. Can you share a little bit more about who this man is and yeah. if we could have a better description of him? Yeah, Humphrey Angelus, Angelus is how he says it. He's originally from the Philippine, well, he's Filipino background. Um, but I met him when we were doing, um, it was, um, what is it called? Um, you know, we were given an award by the Chinese Qigong Grand Masters, um, by the International Qigong, World Qigong Conference. So I met him at a World Qigong Conference where we were given the award for producing the Qi technology because this regenerates the source qi and the wan qi. And it was the first time in the history of the world that the Chinese Qigong Grand Masters had given an award for a technology. That was crazy. But he was there with the Shaolin 
<laughs> he's very highly trained in Shaolin techniques, etc., and very, See very that? special, very conscious being, and we um, recognized. And one of my last videos is wisdom from the Shaolin monks. It's all connected. Each other, and we both have been recognized as fulfillment of certain prophecies. And I had actually, years before that, had somebody sent from the Philippines to find me and had validated, just like you checked and validated who I am. They came to and validated and said that I was part of the release of the gold from the tunnels in the Philippines, etc. The caves. Well, even know it. And this was this was so many years ago. I mean that you know, I think that was I mean that was many, many years ago. Mm. And that was before I met Humphrey and so we had that immediate connection with with the projects for you know, this uh, what my guidance has called the great transference of wealth. What is Humphrey's profession position who who is he exactly what does he do in the world oh geez <laughs> that's a good question he's been off uh, doing filming and stuff <laughs> um um bringing forward awareness and but actually wanting to organize people into leadership okay yeah you know, and that's that was kind of his focus now is and that's part of what we'll be doing that's what the Councilship that I was invited to be part of is more of a councilship of, of and leadership of bringing people together to create the new. You know, I, it's like there's a destructuring of the old systems. We've got to create the new systems. You can't even begin to fix how broken the old systems have been. Mm -hmm. So we've got to create the new systems mm -hmm. of community of life um, uh, in abundance. You know, we have everything to heal everything, a new heaven and a new earth through us. Let's create heaven on earth, a thousand years of peace. I mean, all, all that kind of prophecy. So that's what he's very much about. There's so much that we can go into just based on that. But I want to... So much to heal from all of that. Mm -hmm. And yes, and and yeah, this is the you know everything they talk about with the med beds we've been doing, and that's part of and and I you know we talk um, with with Ray. You talk about the extraterrestrial and how they've taken them off planets. Well, I was asked to create the technology that was on the ships that they called the recalibration chambers on wow. on the ships. That's part of that's what this is. I'm going. You want me to. In fact, when I got told to do all this, I'm going, you got the right channel. I'm blonde here. Of course, I'm the one that does the double blonde studies. That's what everybody jokes about. <laughs> but it's like, do you have the right channel? You want me to do what? Because <laughs> it was a whole download of what was to be done. And part of it was to recreate the recalibration chambers that were on the ships. Okay. What would you do with that? <laughs> because it's for putting the DNA back when you go through hyperspace or go to different planets or di do different missions or assignments or whatever. Mm -hmm. How do you put everything back in its original divine matrix, so to speak? That's what the recalibration chambers are for. Have you ever worked on that? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Big wow. picture. There's two questions. How can I support your work to help further expand on it and, and reach more people? And what can all of us do together to help support this and get this out to the world? Awareness is power. Um, but the only thing beyond love is more fully shared love. That's what we're being called to do. You know, it was divide and conquer. We have to come together, unified field of consciousness. We have to be the greater community. And we have to share. Uh, you not just hold information to yourself, because the more we speak truth, the more others step forward and speak truth. If people are holding back out of fear of pros... Dude, what did I just say in my last video? Ugh, the synchronicities for the content that I am choosing 
is off the charts. It really is. Persecution, persecution. That creates more fear of persecution. Mm -hmm. More persecution. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like you're doing. It's so important that you share the knowledge, share mm -hmm. the truth, that we share, share, share with yeah. everybody with ears to hear, eyes to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Christ said everything he did more were to do. Let's get on with it. We have access to unlimited power, infinite intelligence, unconditional love, should we choose to accept it. Mm -hmm. And I talk about it's time to quit sit, just sitting on your access. Okay, and access that power. Allow that power to rise up from within you. Spinal column is meant to be that standing column or wave or a pillar of light mm -hmm. in the temple of God. And when we all stand together, God wins. So, yeah, this needs to be out to everybody. Now that you know you have accountability, responsibility, you know, to share. Let's get it everywhere as fast as possible. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's the only thing I'm going to ask of everybody, and I'm going to actually look at the camera and say this, is I hope that oh, Jason, after really. hearing and seeing what you saw here, with all the very interesting connections that were made, do something. If you're not going to go and open up a center, go and share this with people that have that ability, that have the resources to do that, because we're all in it together to be able to help each other and share that love, as Sandra was saying. So I encourage you all not only to share this video, but take responsibility. And I like how you broke that up, responsibility. You have the... And if you don't have an EE center in drivable distance where you can go for the day... Order a pendant online and give it to somebody that you think would benefit from it. I think everybody should have one. I don't buy one when I go to the center, but now that I know what they represent and the strength within them, I'm totally down. I'm getting one for my mom. The ability to respond if you choose to. And instead of asking what's going to happen next, you have the ability to create what happens next. We all do through something called free will. The purpose of this interview is to bring more awareness uh -oh. to light about light technology. A lot of you have been asking about medbed technology. This is very close, if not better, than what some of those psychopaths have in their power and in their hands. And thankfully, it's in the right hands. What happened? With Dr. Michael. So I ask you all to do what needs to be done. Use your free will. Exercise that free will. And let's get this out to the world. Because that's how we're going to make a change. Dr. Michaels, thank you for your time. And thank you for your endless effort. Thank you for, for standing up. I know that there are risks that come with this. And you do it selflessly. So thank you. All right, I have I to shut off much. because now thank you're seeing you. my screen. Thank you for letting me share with happened. everybody. And let's get her done. <laughs> We've got a whole world to heal.